In this Python tutorial, we will make a GUI application using PY Simple GUI. There are input, text, button, and progress bar objects in the application. I enter the number of text files to be created in the input object. When I click on the Create button, the files start to be created. The resulting files are displayed in the text object. We can see the completion process of the transaction in the progress bar object. When I click the delete button, the deletion process starts. We will remake the project together. In the video I will show you how to do it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I am importing the libraries. I will use OS for file operations and time library for time operations. I am creating an object list. I add the text object to the list. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the event variable becomes equal to when closed. If the X button is pressed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window containing a text object. I will add an input object to the layout list. I added the input object to the window. I will use the input object to determine the number of files. I am creating a button to create a file. I added the button to the window. I create a button to delete the file. I added the button to the window. I will create a progress bar object. I am sending max value, orientation, expand and size values to the progress bar function. I added the progress bar object to the desktop window. I will create a text object. I send text, events, font, justification, and expand values to the text function. I added the text object to the desktop window. I will define keys to access objects. I define keys for input, progress bar, and text objects. First, I will set the starting point of the progress bar to zero. I am creating a variable. If the create button is clicked, the event is equal to create. First, I need to deactivate the button until the file creation process is completed. I send the disabled true value to the update function. Using the for loop, I will generate numbers between zero and the input value entered by the user. I will increase the bar value with every transaction. The value increment process will vary depending on the value entered by the user into the input object. 
For example, let's say the user enters the value 5 into the input object. The bar value will initially be 0. Then, according to the mathematical process here, it will increase by 20. In the next one, it will increase by 20 and become 40, and the progress bar object will be completed in 5 steps. Therefore, by doing this, we can determine the increment rate of the progress bar object according to the value entered in the input object. I will show each operation in the text object. I show users which file has been created by using the update function. I can create a text file using the open function. After the text file is created, I update the progress bar value. I will stop the program for one second using the sleep function. I activate the button by changing the disabled value of the button to false. Finally, I close the open text file. Let's test the project. I will create five text files. Text files are created. The progress bar increases and the created text objects are displayed in the window. Now let's do the same process in reverse for the delete button. I can copy paste the function. I am making the necessary arrangements. I can delete files with the remove function using the OS library. Let's test it. I'm trying to delete five text files. F is not defined. I need to delete line 41. I delete text files manually. I'm testing the app again. I create three files. I delete three files. The application works as I want. In the next video, we will make an example of the table element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.